we got the number one album of 2022 right now, at least for me. And I think this is the only new album that I've checked out that's dropped this year. Riggs of the Cloth. Him. Riggs teamed up with DJ Muggs. DJ Muggs of Cypress Hill. Of Soul Assassins. They dropped their project Gold. We talked about this last week. But the project is out. And this shit is fire. Riggs does not disappoint. Just does, has not disappointed since I got on with The Only Way Out. With him and Mooch. The project produced by Big Ghost. That was fire. Substance abuse. Um, uh, wake ups. The cloth fix tape. Anything that Riggs has been a part of since I've listened, started listening to him, just has not disappointed. And Muggs been on a roll the last couple of years, just producing projects for people, multiple projects a year, and just killing the production. But the production on this shit is fucking dope. I'm not going to run out and say this is my favorite Riggs shit yet, but I've bumped it probably five, six times this weekend. You know, it's a fairly short listen, 40 minutes, you know. I, I feel like that, I actually feel like that's a good length, 40, 45 minutes. I like albums like that, but man, this shit is fucking fire. I like the direction that Muggs took Riggs with the, produ- uh, you know, with the beats on here. We got some hype shit. We got some laid back shit. R- Riggs really likes that laid back type style. Um, but we got some hype shit on here. My favorite song on this project is Heads on the Wall with Rome Streets. Son. The beat is fucking fire. It gives me kind of throwback vibes to like the early 90s. Super dope. Rome Streets comes on here and just catches all kinds of bodies. Fucking destroys it. I'm not too familiar with Rome Streets, but goddamn, this dude killed it. On this song. And I'm like I don't know. If Riggs. Gonna, how's, how's Riggs going to follow. Rome Street's verse on here. And Riggs just comes up with. The fucking haymaker. And connects with every single one. Just right out the bat. They both murdered. Murdered that song. And just. Uh, it's so good. I love that shit. That's some. That's like. You know, if I worked out in the gym and shit, that'd be definitely some gym music. That's fight music, mosh pit music, all that shit. I love that song. That shit is, god damn, that, that motherfucker gets you hype as fuck. Another dope track on here, Every Season featuring Rob Gates. I love Rob Gates. That dude is fucking dope. His style is just, man, just so aggressive in your face. Compliments Riggs really well. They really complement each other. And I, I love that track as well. Mooch. Anytime Mooch and Riggs hop on songs together, Mooch is on two tracks on here. Mooch is the first voice you hear on here as far as songs go. I'm not sure who did the intro. It sounds like Mav of the Cloth. I'm not sure. It sounds like him, but the first ver- first voice you hear on a song is Mooch. And, you know... That dude just fucking kills it. And yeah, I really, really like this project from Riggs and DJ Muggs. This is the album of the week for me. My favorite shit, hands down, this week um, of the year. I, you know, I kind of jokingly said that it's the album of the year. We're only two weeks into the year, but god damn. Riggs and Muggs came out fucking swinging. With gold. And the shit is fire. It's really good. If you've checked Riggs. Based on any of my previous recommendations. I've been talking about him for a little bit now. And you liked what you heard. You definitely got to peep this project. And if you still haven't checked Riggs out yet. on Based on any of my previous recommendations. Listen to this dude. Just grimy. You know. He's coming out of Rochester, New York. Mugs, the production that Mugs gives him on here is fucking super dope. I mean, Riggs has worked with Mugs at this point. Future Wave, that substance abuse project is fire. 
Wake Ups that he dropped last year. That was in my top 10 of 2021. Shit, Substance Abuse was in my fucking top albums of the year as well. And yeah, man. This is how I like to start 2022 fucking swinging with some dope music. Rigs and Mugs brought it. You know, we got some Cypress Hill references on a couple of the tracks on here. Mayhem Lorenz on this album. Big Twins. Time Chains of the Cloth. Mav of the Cloth is on here too. 16 tracks, 40 minutes. Not one skipper. Couple skits, interludes, whatever. But man, shit is fire. The artwork is super dope too. Like, look at that cover. That cover is fucking fire. You can get a CD. I don't know if it's sold out or vinyl if you want. Um, but yeah, man. Rigs and Mugs absolutely killed it on this project. And I just, I can't recommend enough to go peep Rigs. And I got to shout out the homie Mike Sears for putting me onto the cloth and Rigs. Because, uh, goddamn, that'd be some shit if I was missing out on that fire-ass music. For sure. 